everybody, I am Lucas from Aussie Gamers Express and today I am bringing you a review of the Edifier Luna E235 2.1 speaker system. Now first of all I want to start off by going through the way that this thing is set up. Now it's 2.1, now if you're wondering about what 2.1 is it means it's got two speakers and the point one is the subwoofer which is this beastie thing in the middle here that kind of looks a little bit like an alien head or something out of a sci-fi movie, which is generally what the uh, the look of the entire unit is. As you can see, they're, they're quite uh, unique the way that they've been designed. Now, uh, the way you set them up. Now, these speakers, these two smaller speakers here, which are called the satellite speakers, they are independent of the subwoofer system. So these are not physically connected to each other they connect via Bluetooth, which has a, I think they said 300 foot connection, which is about 90 meters. So you can fit, put these pretty far away from each other without them having to be physically connected, which is quite good. Which means you can put these ones up on your, uh, your, your TV unit deck or next to your computer or near your consoles or whatever that it's going to be connected to. And this big bad boy can sit on the floor independent. So the way it connects, there is a cable connected to this one, which is the active satellite speaker. And by active, they mean this is the one, this is the powerhouse, this is where everything's controlled from. It gets the power cable, it has the, the power and volume controls, which are capacitive touch, which we'll touch on again a little bit further in uh, this video. But yeah, these two, the smaller, two smaller speakers, uh, the satellite speakers are connected to each other via one cable, which, was, which is a proprietary cable, which goes through the two of them. And then there's another cable that comes off the back, which just goes into the power point on the wall. Now the subwoofer itself is only has the one cable which goes out the back of it into a power point, so that's separate to the unit. Now the satellite speakers are automatically paired out of the box uh, back at the factory, so you don't have to worry about that, but if you do have issues with it and it isn't paired, there is a pairing button which is uh, underneath the uh, subwoofer speaker. Okay, so once you've got these speakers plugged in, you'll need two power points to get this working properly, one for the subwoofer and one for the uh, active and the uh, passive satellite speakers there. Once they are plugged in, it's a matter of choosing how you want to input your sound. Now it has the ability of using a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack or auxiliary jack. Uh, which you can, uh, which comes in the box, mind you. So it does come with all of the, the wires and plugs that are, are necessary to use the system. You can also use an optical fiber output, which comes in the packet. However, you have to use the one that it comes with because on one end it's optical, which you'll plug into the output, whether it be on your console, your PlayStation 4, Xbox One, or your stereo or your TV or computer, whatever you're using. And on the other end of the optical fiber, it has a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary jack, which will go into the back of the active satellite speaker. So if you decide that you don't want to wire this up and use it with the auxiliary or the optical cable, you can use Bluetooth, which is my preferred method as well. So with my PC, I have a Bluetooth adapter on it and I also use it with my iPad and iPhone for music around the house as well. And that's really easy to pair. It's literally just going into your Bluetooth, turning it on on your device and searching for the Edifier speaker on there and you click connect. You don't need, or I didn't need to put in the passcode, but if you do, it's zero, 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 zero. Now, it's really hard when reviewing speakers to try and uh, portray the kind of sound quality that you get from them. Now, from the time that I've had testing these Edifier speakers, I've been absolutely blown away. The bass out of this massive subwoofer is amazing and it's really crisp and clear. Now, there's something I want to demonstrate to you guys, but I'll do that once we uh, hit play on this. So. Uh, the capacitive touch controls on the active satellite speaker are on the, uh, on the side of the unit. Now with capacitive touch, you can bump these. So if you are gonna pick up this speaker, be aware that the controls for the capacitive touch are on the side here. And they will register a touch even if you just pick it up because you don't need to press them at all. So let me just press play on some music here and we'll see here what the sound goes like. But like I said, it's not going to be the best because it is sort of being recorded. Oh, 
turn the volume up. Alright, so I've just turned the volume down there using the capacitive touch on the active satellite speaker and I just want to show you uh, one of the features that it has now, there's just a play, uh, sorry, there is just a plus and a minus for volume and a power button, however, if you touch your hand over the top of all, th all three of those capacitive touches, it will pause the music from playing, so it's paused the video, on what, uh, this is a video from YouTube, uh, it's paused the YouTube video and if I do the same again, it's going to play the video again and continue on with the music and then I can turn the volume back up. Alright, so I'll stop the music there. Now I'm going to queue up another video which is a bass test and I'm going to show off uh, a feature that I, well it's probably not a massive feature, but it's something that I thought was quite impressive with the way that the, uh, the subwoofer delivers massive bass, but it's all absorbed by the unit itself and the unit won't vibrate the hell out of itself off a shelf or away from its original position. So have a listen to this. Alright, so this is going to put some pretty massive bass going, and this is the remote, which we'll talk about in a moment, but check this out. So as you can see, it does vibrate. Now, there's no escaping that because that's what a speaker is. It's a big damn vibrator. But I was able to get the remote control to sit on the top there for, for a little while before it slowly vibrated off. And with the legs on this thing, it's not going anywhere. But that's how minimal the actual unit itself vibrates, which is quite impressive. Uh, well, as far as I'm concerned, anyway. All right, so now I'll talk about the uh, remote control that comes in the box with it. Now, it's a pretty good remote. It's small, comes with a battery, and it's got some good features on it. Simple, but good. Now, volume up, volume down, which is a staple, and three different settings, which you've got 3D, THX, and music. Now, whatever you, uh, whatever you prefer, have a listen to the differences. However, with the uh, controller, left and right has the sub minus and sub plus buttons which some music may not be that receptive to deep bass you can turn the bass down or there might be a song that comes on that you want more bass and you can easily turn that up now i've got this feature and this feature is on most home stereo systems however i've got it on my home system but i've got to go through all the menus i've got to go through a bunch of menus to get to the sound and up up the subwoofer Whereas on this one, it's just on the remote, which is nice and easy, so that's appreciated. So look, in summing up the Edifier E235 uh, speaker set 2.1, now they look pretty good. They're very modern in their design. This thing, like I said before, it looks a little bit like an alien head, but overall it's a very modern design. Now they come in red. I believe in Australia, the only other option is black, which looks pretty cool. I would probably option for the lower key black ones myself, but the red ones do look cool. Whatever matches your home decor, go for that, but these would be some really awesome speakers to have permanently set up to a PC. If you're watching a movie, playing a mad game or something like that to get some real, real deep bass and crystal clear highs as well, so it's pretty neat. I like these speakers, they go quite well. They're $799 retail in Australia and uh, they're available on the Edifier store. Uh, now I'll pop anything else uh, up on the screen that I may have missed out in this review. If you've got any questions about things that I have missed or you've got something to say that maybe I got something wrong, then please make a comment in the comment section below. But let's uh, remember, I am not a rocket scientist and I'm not a sound engineer, but I do know what sounds I like. And I like the sound that comes out of the Edifier speakers. So 
All the details are going to be in the description below for you guys, and don't forget to leave comments. If you want to go and listen to the Aussie Games Express weekly podcast, head across to iTunes, Stitcher, or TuneIn Radio, and search for Aussie Games Express, and make sure you go across to our Facebook page and give us a like. We would very much appreciate that. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe to the Aussie Games Express YouTube channel. And until next time, I will see ya. I'm 33 years old now. I've got a f***ing headache. These speakers are awesome.